Words appear. Whose blind life is it anyway? Presents. In association with Sterling Creation. Dining with Donna. Sponsored by VIP Tech. Hey, 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 it's Donna as Donna J. Jarhan, and I'm the host of your Dining with Donna show. Pleased to be with you for the second week of March, and I am just so pumped and so excited to be with you because I am getting a lot of great feedback from you, and it's not just about the positive feedback or positive comments or positive thoughts. It's all about feedback and thoughts and comments and sharing and giving and receiving. Folks, I can only make this show as good as can be as long as you're with me. And I want to thank those of you who started to send in your submissions as to what you'd like me to um, share about you or someone else, about anything else, you know. I think it's important for me not just to reach out to you, but for you to reach out to me as well. Okay? So, thank you, thank you, thank you, and thank you to my dear friend Victor for continuing to provide me with very, very um, great suggestions as to how I could make my show better because I want to be here, I want to provide recipes, and I want to tell you that I am no chef and I am no culinary artist. I am just good old little old Donna in her kitchen, doing her best to relax, recharge, regurgitate with friends and family. And you know, being able to create in the kitchen is one of the nicest things that you can do. You can do it by using someone's recipe word for word, or you can change that recipe to suit yourself. And when you do that, it's your own little recipe, okay? Yes, indeed. Now, I just hope that someday soon, someday in the very near future, I'll be able to start filming my own Dining with Donna shows. Right now, it's just an audio, but if I can find someone to partner with me as a sponsor, I would be more than pleased to do this. So let's work on this, folks. And if you know of anyone who's interested to work with me, please send me an email to askdonna on blindlife at gmail.com. Askdonna on blindlife at gmail.com. Okay? Right then. And thank you again to my dear friend, Victor Guvia. So for this week and for the month of March, we, we're concentrating on dining in a dash. Meals that you can prepare to dine in a dash. This is the first recipe for this show I'll be giving you. It's beef stroganoff. And after that, I'll be giving you a bonus recipe. And after that, I'll be giving you some tips for your kitchen. So are we ready to go, folks? Are we ready to roll? Okay, let's go. Beef stroganoff. And I always say, you should have your implements all laid out on your counter before starting. So then you don't have to go hustling to your cupboards and your pantry looking for things, your implements your, and your ingredients. You already have it there. All right? Okay, measuring cups. Always a necessity in any kitchen. Measuring spoons. Yet again, another necessity in your kitchen. Okay, you must have these two. Okay. A kitchen chef's knife. Nice sharp knife. Make sure that, you know, you're able to manage your, chef, your knife so that you don't end up either cutting your finger or slicing your hand. Okay, very important. And there are those knives that you can buy with guides to help you determine, you know, how wide you want your knife to be or how high you want it to be. Okay. A can opener. And you know what? I just bought a really nice can opener. It's called a ratchet can opener. I bought from 
the Blind Mega My Small www.blindmegamysmall.com I bought it from there. It's a really neat can opener. It has magnets at the end and you place your magnets, your, the magnet part at the end of the, or the edge of your can and then you start turning it. Very easy to turn. It has a little lever at the top. Or you can have a battery operated can opener which is what I also have. An electric one, which is what I don't have, or you can have one of those manual ones. And you can buy any of these at any home hardware store or kitchen store. Okay? A bottle opener. And the bottle opener I use, it's a six in one bottle opener. Again, I bought it from www.blindmegamall. Sorry, blindmicemegamall.com. Again, www.blindmicemegamall.com. And I'm not advertising them at all. I'm just saying where I bought it. Okay? A shallow dish, a non dash stick skillet, cooking spoons, a skewer. And my favorite, always you need to have these on hand, paper towels. Okay? All right, here come the ingredients. One quarter cup of all-purpose flour. One quarter cup of all-purpose flour. One teaspoon of salt. One teaspoon of freshly ground black pepper. Two pounds of top sirloin steak cut into little pieces. Okay, not too big little pieces, please. Three tablespoons of olive oil. One cup of beef broth. Two tablespoons of tomato paste, one ten and a half ounce can of beefy mushroom soup. Even if it's 10 ounces, it's okay, but no more than 11 ounces if you can make that up. And if you can't find a 10 ounce can of beefy mushroom soup, you can buy a larger tin or, or a smaller tin, but just make sure it's no more than 10 and a half ounces. Or at least 10 ounces okay use your measuring cups to do this one eight ounce container of sour cream one eight ounce container of sour cream and you can also have with this hot cooked egg noodles okay this is optional okay I like egg noodles so you can either do it with that or you don't have to. You don't have to include it in your recipe, but I do. All right, are you ready to cook? Good. Come, combine, combine your pepper, your salt and flour in a shallow dish. Make sure it's well combined, your pepper, your salt and your flour. Dredge your beef in the flour mixture. That means that you, you, you know, like mix it into your flour mixture. Shaking off the excess. So what you do, you like, you take each piece of beef and you dip it into your flour mixture. Shake off the excess, okay? You heat one and a half tablespoons of your olive oil in your non-stick skillet over high heat. Add, add half of your steak that you've just done um, integrating into your flour mixture, like you put it in and you shake it off. Add one half of that amount. Cook, stirring often. Cook, stirring often for about six minutes. Or until your steak is brown. Now for someone who has problems knowing if their steak is brown, again you can use by touch to see if it is brown or use, you know, you can smell if it's browning. Okay? Or what I do because I am, you know, I have problems 
determining whether it's brown or not at times, I take one little piece out and I taste it to see if it is brown. You can tell if something is brown, okay? It means that it is cooked. It is not well cooked, but it is not rare, rarely cooked. So it has to be just right. Remove your steak from the skillet. Repeat the, the same process with the remaining olive oil. You know, you, the first time you put your one and a half tablespoons of olive oil into the skillet with half the amount of steak. Right, so you now you're going to remove that steak, put it aside, and you're going to repeat the process with the other one and a half tablespoons of oil and your steak, which you have just uh, done dredging in your flour mixture, shaking off the excess. Add your broth, your tomato paste, and your soup, and you cook for one minute and you use your whisk to loosen the you know extra bits from the bottom of your skillet okay so let me just say it again cook all this for one minute and you make sure you loosen the ground bits from the bottom of your skillet return the beef to the skillet Covering, covering and cooking, covering and cooking for 10 minutes until all of the beef is very tender and the sauce is slightly thickened. And you've got to make sure that you stir occasionally. And then you remove it from the heat, let stand for five minutes, and then you stir in your sour cream. And you serve this over your hot cooked noodles if desired. Um, it makes six servings, but you know something else? I can use this with hot cooked rice as well. Don't doesn't have to be um, hot cooked egg noodles. It could be rice. Okay. So if you're having problems following this recipe, please. Write to me at askdonna on blindlife at gmail.com. Happy to send you the original text because sometimes it's hard to listen and write your notes down. I have all the texts to all of my recipes and I will be happy to send them to you. Just put in the subject line which recipe you require. This is an easy to make recipe. It may sound difficult, but once you get the hang of it, it's very, very, very easy. And it makes six servings. And, you know, it's a nice dish to have on a nice cold night with your family. Again, write to me at askdonnaunblindlife at gmail.com. I'm happy to send it to you in textual format. All right, you ready for my bonus recipe for this week? Yeah? Okay, let's see what we have for a bonus recipe. And I have a great liking for salads. So most of my bonus recipes are going to be salads. But for this week, we have this for you. Okay. Um, it is, it's called Burgers Deluxe. And I thought I would give you this recipe because it's easy to make one pound of ground beef, one quarter, um, what, oh, one quarter chopped onion. So you take a quarter onion and chop it, okay? Three tablespoons of ketchup and one tablespoon of prepared horseradish one teaspoon of salt, two teaspoons of prepared mustard, a dash of pepper, and you combine all, you combine all of the ingredients and shape them into a patty, right? 
ओके आणि ओके वॉट यू डू इज यू यू मिक्स ऑल ऑफ दिस राईट मिक्स एव्हरीथिंग दॅट आय हॅव जस्ट नेम टू यू अँड मेक शुअर दे आर देन roll them out into maybe 2 inch patties okay it this makes six servings so make sure that you can after you've done your mixing of all of this um make sure that you can roll them off into about 2 inch patties okay then sorry and it's not 2 inches my god it's into 1/2 inches so you mix all of your ingredients together roll them out into 1/2 inch patties right cook for 5 minutes and on each side okay boil for 5 minutes on each side this mix makes six servings again if you would like a copy of my uh, recipe my bonus recipe for today please send me an email to astana on blind life at gmail.com tell me which bonus recipe you would like or which recipe of the week you would like and i'll be more than pleased to send it to you because listening to this is not always the best thing when you're trying to listen and write notes down okay you can have it in texture format not a problem Before I end the show let's go for some recipes for your kitchen. It's all about cleaning up your kitchen in very quick time, okay? If you want to clean up broken glass, use a dampened paper towel or a dampened cotton ball. To pick up your uh your glass slivers or slivers of glass best way to do it a dampened paper towel or a dampened cotton ball okay all right here is another hint for you okay If you have a burnt pan and often this happens to me, here's what you do. Fill If you have um hold on. If you have a, a burnt pan that has um with milk, if it's, you know, if the pan is burnt with starchy milk, foods or milk, fill the pan with cold water. or if grease has spilled into your pan and it's burnt fill it with hot water sprinkle your pots or pans with liberally with baking soda again let me just go over this it's important if you have burnt pans or pots with milk or starchy foods fill it with cold water if it is grease fill it with hot water and then you sprinkle your pot or pan liberally with baking soda this will lift the burnt portion right out of the pan i've done this several time with greasy pans and you can also loosen burnt foods by boiling water in your pots or pans for a few minutes okay this works i know it does cuz i have done it several times Good folks, I'm Donna J John Hand on Dining with Donna. I want to thank you again for dropping by this week to listen to me. I want to thank Victor for giving me this opportunity. I want to thank everyone for your thoughts, your suggestions and your comments. And folks, please, if you would like me to share information about you or about somebody else or anything, send me an email to askdonna on blindlife at gmail.com it's a new brand new offer that i am offering to you and tell me no more than 150 words what you would like me to announce for you it could be on any of my eight shows you choose two of these shows 
either two Ask Donna shows or two Dining with Donna shows or one of each. You have a choice of eight shows per month. And when you send your email to me and I confirm receipt and that I would like to, you know, announce your stuff, we will arrange for you to send me $5 to PayPal at DonnaJohnHen.com. I will put this in the email for you. And we can discuss other payment arrangements if you find this difficult. Okay? Good stuff. Thank you very, very much. Have a great day. Have a great rest of the week. Stay safe. And I'll talk to you next week. Bye for You can catch Dining with Donna Wednesdays at 10 a.m. Eastern, 7 a.m. Pacific on Whose Blind Life Is It Anyway?